Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Have another Here journal for you. Joshua chapter 18, Into the Promised Land. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Joshua, a chapter at a time, and doing a Here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now let's read and listen to Joshua chapter 18 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 18 The Allotments of the Remaining Land now that the land was under Israelite control, the entire community of Israel gathered at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle. But there remained seven tribes who had not yet been allotted their grants of land. Then Joshua asked them, How long are you going to wait before taking possession of the remaining land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given to you? Select three men from each tribe, and I will send them out to explore the land and map it out. They will then return to me with a written report of their proposed divisions of their new homeland. Let them divide the land into seven sections, excluding Judah's territory in the south and Joseph's territory in the north. And when you record the seven divisions of the land and bring them to me, I will cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord our God who assigned land to each tribe. The Levites, however, will not receive any allotment of land. Their role as priests of the Lord is their allotment. And the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh won't receive any more land, for they have already received their grant of land, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them on the east side of the Jordan River. As the men started on their way to map out the land, Joshua commanded them, Go and explore the land, and write a description of it. Then return to me, and I will assign the land to the tribes by casting sacred lots here in the presence of the Lord at Shiloh. The men did as they were told, and mapped the entire territory into seven sections, listing the towns in each section. They made a written record, and then returned to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. And there at Shiloh, Joshua cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord to determine which tribe should have each section. The Land Given to Benjamin the first allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. It lay between the territory assigned to the tribes of Judah and Joseph. The northern boundary of Benjamin's land began at the Jordan River, went north of the slope of Jericho, then west through the hill country and the wilderness of beth -Avon. From there the boundary went south to Luz, that is, Bethel, and proceeded down to Adaroth Adar on the hill that lies south of lower beth Horon. The boundary then made a turn and swung south along the western edge of the hill facing Beth Horon, ending at the village of Kiriath Baal, that is, Kiriath Jerim, a town belonging to the tribe of Judah. This was the western boundary. The southern boundary began at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim. From that western point, it ran to the spring at the waters of Nephtoah, and down to the base of the mountain beside the valley of Ben Hinnom, at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From there it went down the valley of Hinnom, crossing south of the slope where the Jebusites lived, and continued down to Enrogel. From Enrogel the boundary proceeded in a northerly direction and came to En Shemesh and on to Gililoth, which is across from the slopes of Adummim. Then it went down to the stone of Bohan. Bohan was Reuben's son. From there it passed along the north side of the slope overlooking the Jordan Valley. The border then went down into the valley, ran past the north slope of Beth Hogla, and ended at the north bay of the Dead Sea, which is the southern end of the Jordan River. This was the southern boundary. The eastern boundary was the Jordan River. These were the boundaries of the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. The towns given to Benjamin. These were the towns given to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Kizus, Beth Ereba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Pera. Ophra, Kafer Ammoni, Ophni, and Geba, twelve towns with their surrounding villages. Also Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Maza, Rechem, Irpil, Teralah, Zila, Haleph, Jebus, that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath-Jerim, 
14 towns with their surrounding villages. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. And that was Joshua chapter 18 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my here journal, first the highlight, Joshua chapter 18 verses 2 and 3. Verse 2, But there remained seven tribes who had not yet been allotted their grants of land. Then Joshua asked them, How long are you going to wait before taking possession of the remaining land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you? So, what's my explanation? Joshua asked the leaders of the seven tribes that had not yet taken possession of their allotted lands how long they were going to wait before taking possession. So, how does that apply to us today? The Lord is waiting on each of us to take possession of our blessing and provision. How long will you wait until you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? How long until you fully submit your ways to the Lord? Your every thought, word, and deed. You cannot enjoy His blessings until you do. Reference John 15, verse 7. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Romans 8.7 For the mind that is set on flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law, Indeed, it cannot. 1 Peter 5, 6 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you. Hebrews thirteen seventeen, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instruction. I strive to follow your leading with steadfast faith and courage, knowing that you are with me in all that you have called me to do. I pray for others that do not know you. Amen. And now, how about you? Why don't you try some here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so glad you did. Comment below, share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. He's awaiting on you. Seek Him now. God bless.